question real quick before it ends. Okay. Um, it's, it was, it was my turn, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. go, okay. go, go. Um, it's, it's again with the Burn Man thing. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get it last time, so I want to make sure. Page 333. Three, three. Uh, I'll do a borrow your book. So again, we have a predict the products problem. We want to predict the products from these three steps. All right, well, we should recognize that these two reagents mean ozonolysis. With me so far, these two things mean ozonolysis. The best way to do an ozonolysis is you draw, um, so ozonolysis breaks carbon-carbon yeah, bonds. I'm, I'm good with that, it's just the um, Birdman part. I love explaining ozonolysis. All right. All right. So here's the explanation for ozonolysis. All right. Yeah. All right. So there's our ozonolysis. So we've done these two steps over here. Okay. So now we know we have this Birdman thing. So we definitely want to protonate with HCl, right? We want to protonate. Right. Now let's ask ourselves. Uh, this is predict the products. So what are the products going to be? Well, let's see what our reagents are. What functional groups do we have here? Carbonyls, aldehydes and ketones, and what functional groups do we have here? Alcohols. Alcohols. All right, so we really should be very comfortable with this. This is one of their key reactions, alcohols attacking carbonyls, especially acid-catalyzed alcohols attacking carbonyls. So let, let's just see what the general reaction is for that. Um, Um, so again, this is a key reaction that we should just have mastered. What happens when alcohols attack carbonyls? As usual, I like to asterisk the carbonyl carbon. So we know what happens here is we know that when we have alcohols and an acid catalyst, remember that the carbonyl oxygen will eventually get kicked off completely. Remember that it leaves as water. We've seen a bunch of examples of how the carbonyl oxygen will leave as water. Um, that means that this carbon here has lost two bonds. This carbon will have lost two bonds. Well, who are the guys that are going to replace those two bonds? The two al alcohol oxygens. We should just have memorized that what happens here is that these two alcohol oxygens, so we're replacing the two oxygen bonds in this picture with these two oxygen bonds over here. That's right. Now, when they first attacked, they would look like this. But at this point, they would be positive, And then when they deprotonate, they would lose the H's. Again, this is such a key reaction that you should just be able, just like, um, you know how I, when I did this ozonolysis, I was able to go straight from the starting material to the product. Um, uh, to just know what the product of ozonolysis looks like. And when we did the Wittig reaction a second ago, we were able to go straight from the starting material to the product, because we know what the product of a Wittig reaction looks like. Well, this is another uh, major reaction where we should be able to go straight from the starting material to the product, although you should be thinking what's happening here. Again, what's happening is these two oxygens are acting as nucleophiles and attacking this carbon. Well, that kicks off these two bonds to this oxygen, which leaves as water. 
Um, now, originally when these oxygens came in, they did have protons, but since they're neutral, when they come in, they end up with a positive charge and they have to deprotonate to get rid of that charge. So here's my question. Once we apply that, all that knowledge to the problem and we put those oxygens, sometimes he connects them, and I don't know when he connects them, especially in synthesis, it gets extremely confusing. Right. So um, in this case, so let's take, uh, say, this carbonyl over here. Now, I know that what's going to happen is that um, we are going to... Oh, yeah, this is a little trickier than I thought. So let's see here. What's the problem? Oh, I'm sorry, you have it. Uh, oh, there's no extra information, is there? Okay. So, yeah, that's a good question. So I'm not 100% sure what would happen here. So one thing that might happen is, again, we might just get these two alcohol oxygens coming in here. But in this case, the two alcohols happen to be connected. So that would just give us this. Right. And here, we would get the same thing. I wrote this wrong. Yeah. That's it? That's right. Okay. I need to find it when it's like, I swear, it connects it sometimes. And I, need, I need to practice just doing the mechanism because I'm like, I know I'm not going to be comfortable with just doing right. it if I don't really know what yeah, happens. Absolutely. You should definitely go through the mechanism uh, uh, as well. Um, so it is, um, you definitely could be, uh, for one thing, you could be tested on this mechanism. So you definitely yeah. need the mechanism both forward and backwards. Uh, so this is an important mechanism. However, um, you probably should not do the mechanism uh, in the, during the real test on predict the products if it takes too long. So you should also know how to go straight to the products. By the way, notice here, it doesn't really make a heck of a lot of difference whether these two oxygens, whether these two alcohols are in the same molecule or not, right? If these happen to be in the same molecule, that would just mean we'd get this. Oh, meaning they're connected? Yeah, if oh, these two alcohols happen to be yeah. connected originally, they would just be connected over here. I actually think it's unfortunate that um, people learn this as the Birdman, because they, they think that the Birdman is some weird special reaction. It's not some weird special reaction. It's just two alcohols that happen to be, um, it's just two alcohols and acid attacking a carbonyl. And the two alcohols happen to be connected by the back door, so they end up connected uh, over here. Um, so uh, anyway, that gives us uh, this over here. And then all that really happened here is we had two carbonyls. So it happened twice uh, to each of these separate carbonyls. All right, so yeah, you're right. You definitely do want to master uh, the mechanism, but you should also take some time to practice just drawing the product directly. Um, and this is a good model uh, for how it would work uh, down here. And you have to be able to reverse this as well. Uh, if we put in hydronium, we would go from here to here. So we should be able to do that too.